OTAs are wrapping up for the Bears, so this is pretty much the roster we're going to be seeing into the season. Yannick Ngwakwe and Frank Clark are names that come to mind, defensive end signings, but most of this is going to be what we have going into the 2023 season. And starting off on D-line, Travis Gibson, Andrew Billings, and Justin Jones, they really aren't anything special. Is it better than what we had last year? I don't know how much better. Uh, Demarcus Walker is a noticeable improvement, though, at that edge. He, maybe he can have a good season, but the rest, I don't really have much hope. Now, for the second strings, Dominique Robinson, as a rotational piece, I like him. And Zach Pickens and Garavon Dexter Sr., I like, I like them too. I think they could be our starters, and if that's the case, if they pan out, we might have a way better line than I think. I just don't want to put my money on this too early. A linebacker is definitely the Bears' strong suit. You got T.J. Edwards and Tremaine Edmonds on the Will and Mike, and Jack Sanborn, rookie last year, undrafted free agent, who was doing good things last year. I don't, I don't know how good he's going to be, but I think he can be a solid third linebacker for us. Sterling Weatherford, Noah Sewell, valuable depth pieces. Now, uh, cornerbacks, you got Jalen Johnson. He was playing through injury last year. I think he can bounce back, have a better season. Tyreek K. Stevenson, he's a rookie this year. I think he has a lot of potential. Kyler Gordon, um, he was in the slot last year. He was kind of getting beat a lot, picked apart, but he can improve on that. And Jaquan Brisker, Eddie Jackson, and the safeties. They're really good. If they keep Eddie Jackson because of cap space reasons, I don't know. But if they do, that'll be a tough safety group to pass through. 